Imagine that you are living here on this space station on another planet far, far away in some hopefully not too distant future, looking backward in history, trying to figure out how you got here, how we as a species made it through the challenges of the 21st century to the final frontier. What would you tell your kids about the journey we took from caveman to space woman? What kind of cultures on Earth led us to the great leap toward evolving from Earth-bound hunter-gatherers into space cultures capable of adapting to the unimaginable harshness of off-world survival challenges? Hello, and welcome to our course in cultural anthropology where we explore all this and more. We are at that turning point in human history with American, Russian, and Chinese astronauts regularly visiting and living on a multicultural space station 240 miles above the Earth's surface, with India landing spacecraft on the moon and, and Japanese spacecraft landing on asteroids and international probes landing with increasing regularity on Mars while startup companies like SpaceX and Virgin Galactic are launching satellites and already offering opportunities for space tourism. At the same time, on your Earth, we are seeing increasing social fragmentation, a, a growing distrust and misunderstanding of science, and dangerous expressions of racism, classism, gender inequality, xenophobia, and tribalism manifesting, along with dangerous tendencies toward escalating warfare with weapons of mass destruction at the ready as climate changes and habitat loss and environmental degradation call into question the possibility for life on Earth to survive. These are indeed complex and confusing and frightening and yet strangely hopeful times never before seen in human history. In fact, never before in human history or the history of any species of life in our solar system as far as we know, has a creature gotten so close to extending life beyond its home planet. If we are able to get here, to the kind of civilization you see around me, then it will be an incredible and unprecedented achievement. Can we do it? In this course, we will travel back in time to consider this question, and along the way, maybe figure out better ways for our surviving on Spaceship Earth, our home planet. To quote President Abraham Lincoln, the first Republican president in the United States who fought to end slavery and keep our union together as the Industrial Revolution was beginning to create machines to replace much human labor. Quote, if we could at first know where we've been and whither we are tending, we could better know what to do and how to go about it. That is the purpose of this course. Our course takes us way back into prehistory to the very origins of our species and looks at our closest primate relatives and their behavior to shed some light on what truly separates us from other members of the animal kingdom. How much smarter are we really than parrots and cetaceans like whales and dolphins, dogs and cats, and of course, monkeys and apes? Through comparative analysis, we can get a better idea of where we fit into the ecological systems of our planet Earth and how and where we have strayed from a sustainable and adaptive fit with our environments. Through comparative analysis, we can get a better idea of where we fit into the ecological systems of our planet Earth and how and where we have strayed from a sustainable and adaptive fit with our environments. You may be shocked to discover, for example, how much we actually have in common with the great apes in terms of both DNA and behavior and even protoculture and get a better understanding of what intelligence and fitness really means. We also journey into the Paleolithic, examining how our hunter-gatherer ancestors lived before the agricultural revolution began some 10,000 years ago and exploring why some of our brothers and sisters in the modern world still live as hunter-gatherers off wild resources on Earth's land and in our planet's seas. 
It may surprise you to discover that there are many who, despite or even because of their knowledge of our civilizations, choose to continue cultural traditions that once defined all of us, preferring the paleo lifestyle to anything associated with modernity. Through comparative cultural anthropology, you may find that there really isn't one homogenous perspective on how we should live in our environments, and that history really has historically been his story. The tale of mostly male storytellers, overwhelmingly of modern European ancestry, and usually those who were the victors in world conflicts and who currently hold power and control the narrative. With that realization, this course invites you to tell your story your way. Think of cultural anthropology like a detective story, a story in which, to get at the truth, we need to hear from all possible witnesses and actors and agents before we can decide what the human story is really all about, and certainly before we decide to take any actions. Through archaeology and behavioral ecology, we need to unearth every possible clue and consider every perspective. We need to understand different points of view. We need to dig up not just the evidence of pharaohs and emperors and kings and presidents and famous folk, but examine the lives of the every man and woman everywhere. We need to uncover not just his story to understand our collective history, but her story and their story, and most importantly in this course, your story. That's why, so that we can better tell our story, we need you to relate your life, your history, your culture, your background, to what we learn from our class lectures and readings and class discussions. Your task in this class is to create content that communicates to your classmates and the outside world where you and your family and community fit into the complex tapestry and social fabric of our modern world. The class content will give you the context and set the stage and give you the scaffolding to relate your stories and the stories of your culture and heritage. Your task is to use every means at your disposal, particularly through audiovisual storytelling, to reach into your past and present and imagined future to tell us how you are connected to the ever-evolving ecological and social environments that collectively will determine whether any of us survive this century of unprecedented hope and peril, and if so, how? In this course, we want you to try on the hat of the cultural anthropologist, to use the tools and mindset of cultural anthropology and think like a cultural anthropologist who has been sent out into the field of your life and dreams to study the subject you should but may not yet know best. You. We look forward to the stories you bring back. Welcome to our class.